morning. Uh, hi there, welcome back. Lots of you enjoyed James's gong bath. Yes. Uh, yeah. Irene said, love the sound of those gongs. Very relaxing. Mm. Laura, how relaxing is James, AK Hunter? Mm. He needs a meditation podcast. I'm sure he would do that. And then Nicholas said, I've been to a gong bath. It's very relaxing, but I was distracted by snoring. Another member of the class had fallen asleep. <laughs> It's when they start dribbling as well. That's when it's really <laughs> offensive. I struggled to relax. Uh, I think that was apparent. Yeah. But I think doing it properly in a proper room and that hand pan, how amazing was that? Yeah, it was. It was absolutely lovely. <laughs> he, should do, he should put a class or something on, on our website or something, maybe. We'll put the details on for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. could do it at home. OK, it is time for some cookery now. So we've been joined by Michaela in the kitchen where she's making a dish that apparently could help you live to 100. Indeed, indeed. Mm. There's a family in Sardinia. So Sardinia is a blue zone, mm. so highest concentration of centenarians. And there's a family that has the world record for being the oldest family in the world, mm. their combined ages. And their secret is they ate minestrone soup every day with a chunk of bread and a glass of wine. Delish. Sounds so, like my kind of It does, yeah. Lunch. What uh, what makes minestrone soup minestrone soup rather than just vegetable soup? <laughs> or is it just, <laughs> is it just spot, an like... Italian vegetable soup? Is it, uh, yeah, I mean... As an Italian, my granddad will be looking down on me now, my nonno, and he'll be saying... You're on TV making Muna Because <laughs> Italian food's peasant food, so this is something they would quite literally be going out on the fields and be grabbing what they've got. So uh -huh. every aunt, every nonna, every uh, family member, every town, every village will have their version. Mm -hmm. They'll all say theirs is the most authentic. Of course. Right? OK. <laughs> but it's basically whatever's in your fridge, well, it whatever is, it's you use, can put your it's hands using on. using up. Yeah, it's the seasonal veg, you know, so yes. it would vary. But, you know, there are some... They usually start with a sofrito base, yes. which is what I've got here. So, um, which is sofrito is onions, carrots, and celery. Yes. Right. Now, Nonna always used to say slow and low with the onions. Slow and low. It's everything. So, the recipe I've got here is the kind of authentic. It's the traditional. I got a way to speed it up. <laughs> yeah. You know, because we all need a bit of yeah. <laughs> speeding yes. up in our lives. But here we've just. She, in fact, my mum, when she spent all day doing something, you know, shopping or whatever. My dad liked to come home to dinner on the table. Uh -huh. She'd just fry an onion, cos he'd walk in the Anything door, do she... that trick, and he'd walk in... Oh, Paolo, what have you been cooking? Yes. Oh, Slow I'm and low. I'm slaving away all day. It was just the onions, right? Very cunning. <laughs> I have to say, I'm a massive fan of soup. I love having a pot exactly like that yep. in the fridge with soup in it, so whenever you're hungry, you just can Just ready pop... to go. Yeah, something because it's, like, quick and yeah. convenient. And you can, you can change it so many different ways with some really basic things yes. at the start. So all I have got in here for that lovely aroma is mm. some olive oil and some onions. Now... My nonna would have done exactly this. So I've chopped all the vegetables in equal sizes. So this is where time, OK? So it's a labour of love. And yeah. they do say one of the factors to live into 100 is take your time over things, pour your love into it. Yeah. So here we've got the onions, slow and low. And then I've got um, leeks, carrots, courgette or zucchini, mm -hmm. um, sweet potato. Mm. Right. And they are all going to go in. All like together that. at the same time. All in. Does the sweet potato help to thicken it a little bit, Michaela? Yeah, or, I mean... Or is it more just... Nonna would always taste. have, like, a starch okay. in her minestrone. Okay. So, again, if she had sweet potato or... I mean, even now, in the summers in Italy, my kids love broccoli. It's yes. really hard to find broccoli in the summer in Italy, oh, even yeah. in our world today. You'll go to the markets and they'll all say to you, broccoli in the summer? So um, she probably would have used what she had, you know. The I found. <gasps> Where's mine? Hi. That's a good point, Katie. <laughs> yes. Uh, we have one for Michaela. Michaela's? No, no. no. There wasn't one for Michaela. I, 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 have, have a slug. Have a slug of mine. <laughs> I'm all right. I'll have a little sip. Go on. There we go. Try Try to do it. Live to a hundred. Does anybody know which wine it is? Thank you, Angel. Thank you. Does anyone know what wine it is? You just randomly took it. Did you take it from one of the sound? Is it mm. Just, he didn't take it from the, from the hip the music, blast out of the back. The yeah, we did. The background. Here we go. Thank you. So, bean-wise, does it matter which ones you use or is it what you have in your cupboard? Oh, oh that's Things great. might get slower and lower here. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Um, bean-wise, Kat's just asked, does it matter? Well... That's the fight for the rest of the bottle <laughs> happening. <laughs> Sorry, I'm really distracting. Um... I'm coming back from a gong bath. <laughs> It's what we've got the wine now. I mean, are you going to make it to the <laughs> end? <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Um, being wiser depends who you talk to. Well, oh, really? Well, I mean, one person, oh, it's got to be burlotti beans, okay. and then you'll go next door and they'll go, oh, be she things. said burlotti beans? Yeah. No. yeah. My nonna always used burlotti, um, yes. but again, regionally, what you, butter changes. beans, uh, kidney beans. But the burlotti, they do say that the legume is a really important factor in Sardinia yes. for um, longevity. Now, we're talking a lot, but all that's happening here is I'm giving that little stir. There's not a lot to do when you're mm -hmm. making minestrone. Apart from drinking wine and stir. Yeah. This is but great. This sounds is right like my street. kind of recipe. <laughs> Something I really want to talk about is the stock. Okay, okay yeah. So, if you want to make this super speedy, mm -hmm. don't bother chopping it up finely. You can quite honestly just do this. And oh, just whack it, it in. big, you big can. rough cuts. And that's in. where then at the end you blitz it with um, one of these, a stick blender. Oh, yes. Or oh, yes. blend. yeah, you don't yeah, even yeah. have to dirty an extra appliance, you just pop it in and blend it. Yep. My kids don't like the chunky soup. Okay. They would It's all the same thing, yep. all the goodness is in it. So that will speed it up, but the the stock. Now, what I'm going to do is a real cheat. Yeah. Nonna would be horrified. <laughs> Look away, Nonna. Okay. Look away. So, water and crumble in a stock cube. Sure. Okay. So, this is for everyone at home to make their lives easy. But if you really, really, really want to go to town and have the amazing goodness, I would recommend making a bone broth. And everyone goes, oh, it's the magic <laughs> ingredient. It's the magic ingredient. No. And they panic. Kayla, would you ever drink bone broth first thing in the morning just, you know, to wake yourself up? Uh, no. Would Nonna? Well, my Nonna would drink uh, spoons of olive oil. Spoons of olive oil I get. Spoons of olive oil I get. Right. But she's been trying to make me drink bone broth since we started it's this. It's amazing, week. Ben, i got to say. Bone broth is the bones that give it all that goodness. All right, so, but you wouldn't do it personally. I, I, first thing in the morning, I do like a cup of tea. Be Being cup of tea. <laughs> cup of tea. <laughs> so I've gone in with some tomatoes and tomato puree in there. Obviously mm -hmm. seasoned, it's got the yep. stock. And then you just let it melt down. Yeah. Look, 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 look. <gasps> look at that. Ooh. How long does that melt down for then? I mean, I would say a good 20 minutes, half an hour. So there's the soup. So not too long. And I've just no. got it. No, it doesn't take long at all. But I've got to tell you about my kale crumb and the parmesan. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. That is kale blitzed. I call it my kale crumb. And That's this guest, right. do you know what? Kids think this is a treat. Yes. They would never eat kale like that. But blend, all I'm doing, look, that's all it does, is blended Blitz kale. Easy. And you've got to put, my dad would oh, literally cover it. Cheese on. Top. Parmigiano cheese. There you go. Parmigiano dig in, dig Reggiano. In. Yeah. He wants a bowl, another bowl. And I, you, there you've got some bread if you need it. You've got your wine. So, you know, mm. happy days. Live to 100. It is. It's delicious. And I'm just going to pair it with a little bit of Chianti. There you go. Well, that's what you're doing the science now. Yes, now I'm really scientific. exploring what this family is in the blue zone. It's absolutely <laughs> delicious, it's it really amazing. is. Amazing. Thank it you is. so much. And it's a great way of using up anything that you've got in yeah. your fridge, essentially. Zero waste. Nana would save all her peelings for the stock. Yeah, everything. It's absolutely delicious. I love it. Really delicious. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, thank you. Thank Pleasure. you. OK, for details of today's recipe, what recipe there is, I mean, it's kind of do whatever you want a little bit, check out our free This Morning app. Uh, right, up next.